So another system of measurement that is sometimes used is called the household system. So this is just the things that you would have around your house. So teaspoons, tablespoons, um, glasses, uh, um, tea cups is another one. Um, and you can see we have uh, a conversions for all of those as well. Um, so this, is, well, this works just like um, all the other systems we work in. That's the nice thing about dimensional analysis. That you don't have to learn a syst uh, different way to do conversions for each type of problem you have. Once you know how to do dimensional analysis, you can use it on um, any system as long as you have those conversion factors. So <coughs> I have an example here. You have a patient that drank two teacups of, of coffee, three glasses of water, and 12 fluid ounces of juice. And you want to know what the total fluid intake for the patient was in fluid ounces. Um, so, see a couple things. I have two teacups. I have three glasses. And I have 12 fluid ounces of juice. <coughs> so, if I can convert them all to, to fluid ounces, then I could add up the fluid ounces and I would be pretty much done. Um, I would be done. So, I, I can see from my chart that one teacup is the same as six fluid ounces. And then I can also see that one glass is the same as eight fluid ounces. Okay. Um, so, we can, we have two teacups that we need to make into fluid ounces. So if I, if I divide on both, side, on both sides of this e equivalence or equation by one teacup, I would end up with six fluid ounces to one teacup is the same thing as one. Okay. So if I multiply by My teacups are going to cancel, right? And I end up with 12 fluid ounces. Um, you could probably pretty much do this one in your head. Uh, two, you have six, two, six fluid ounce things, right? Two times six gives you 12. Um, but we're going through the process of the dimensional analysis just so you can see that it work, applies here too. Um, <coughs> and I know that one glass is eight fluid ounces and I had three glasses. Okay, three glasses times, right? I want, I want fluid ounces in the end, so I would divide this guy by glasses on both sides, and I would end up with eight fluid ounces per one glass, or one glasses. Well, not really proper English, but that's okay. So that guy is equivalent to one, so I can multiply by that. Eight fluid ounces over glasses. My glasses are going to cancel. Three times eight gives me 24, and I'm left with fluid ounces. So, and then I have 12 fluid ounces left. So I have 12 fluid ounces from my um, two teacups of coffee. And then I also have... 24 fluid ounces from my three glasses of whatever it was, water. And then I have 12 more fluid ounces of juice, right? And I add that up, I get 48 fluid ounces. So the tricky part about this is just converting everything to fluid ounces so that you can add them all up. Because we can't add up teacups and glasses, they're different. So that is pretty much it. That's all there is to the household system. Household and apothecary system, the, the only thing tricky about the apothecary system is it's written a little bit differently. We use fractions instead of decimals, the units of measure, grains or um, fluid ounces or whatever you're using is written before the number part. So that's a little tricky. But in terms of the conversion and the dimensional analysis, it's, it's the same procedure as we were using before. So that's the great thing about dimensional analysis. It works all the time. Um, regardless of the system that you're using. So, so that's it. That's all I have. Uh, give the homework a shot.